Hi guys, in this brand new series we are spending 100 days in Louisville. We'll be playing as Peter Gibbons, an average office worker. Now, in order to have this profession, I am playing with the mod Ross Professions again. All mods will be linked in the description, so do go check them out. But first, have you ever wanted to run a Project Zomboid server for you and your friends, or even try your hand at building a large community? Well, with today's sponsor in Different Broccoli, it really hasn't been easier. There's no confusing payment options like how much RAM you want or anything like that. Just pick how many players and you're good to go. All plans come with at least 128 gig of RAM as well. And from my personal experience, this is a massive advantage when running a Project Zomboid server. Their control panel is user-friendly and means you won't have to waste time messing around with any complicated settings or anything like that. But if you want a two-day free trial with no credit card required, check out the link in the description pinned in the comments thank you and different broccoli for sponsoring this video now let's get on with it okay guys so we have spawned in in the heart of louisville by the looks of it we are okay so this is not too bad we're a bit out of the way we're very close to the center so yeah it's gonna be uh it's gonna be interesting to say the least i don't really know there's no real main goal it's literally just surviving for 100 days on this one gonna be a fairly chilled one hopefully but we are in Louisville, so who knows? We are playing as, of course, Peter Gibbons. We do start with a briefcase. Oh, with some stuff in it, actually. Uh, cheese sandwich, yeah, we'll take that. Thank you very much, because we are playing with Raw's professions again as well. So we are just the average office worker, Peter Gibbons. These are the traits there. You know what? You know the ones we go for normally. I've got handy this time. The usual ones, I'll leave them up there for you to have a look at while we're playing, but... The first first job, I suppose, is uh, securing the house. All right, we've got a very, very uh, small house by the looks of it, but that's fine. Let's just make sure we are safe. Let's try to find some kind of weapon. We have got a bourbon bottle with water, so at least we're not going to uh, die of dehydration. Oh, and carpentry, we'll have a look at that. Oh, beta blockers, that's nice. That is nice. We are playing with vanilla fire on expansion. It's a different one I normally play f play with, so we do have some new guns, which is going to be nice. They are law friendly, so it's not going to break anything, which is good. But it just, just mixes it up a little bit. There's more guns than the normal vanilla firearms we play with. We've got some more guns there, which is quite nice. We are also playing with extremely rare loot as well because we are in Louisville, so there's probably going to be loads of places to loot. So we've already dropped it down one, and we'll see how we get on, really. Well, we've gone through the house. There is no real weapons here. <laughs> I mean, there's guns, but they are... They're not going to be any use to us at the minute. All right, let's have a look outside, see what we're dealing with. Nothing too crazy. A couple of zombies. All right, first zombie down. All right, so we really need a weapon. That is the main uh, the main focus today. <laughs> oh, all we got is bloody guns. <laughs> we don't need guns. All right, we got some rain boots. We got a jacket. We got some gloves. That'll uh, that's something at least. Oh, Jesus Christ! Right, there's a lot of banging going on out here. So let's let's get out and. Maybe we go to these uh, commercial locations, actually. That might be the best bet for a weapon. It's probably going to be busy over there, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, okay. We, we got some we got some ready to tango here. Oh, okay. Well, that was uh, that was okay, to be fair. All right, let's go up here. Let's have a look in this house. See, the thing is with Louisville, there's so many, uh, so many bloody zombies. <laughs> Uh, we do have respawn off as well, so that should help us a little bit. I mean, I'd take a bloody frying pan at this point. So we do start with one in carpentry and one in maintenance. The maintenance is going to be really handy, actually. All right, we've got some desert boots. We'll put them on. We'll also put the leather jacket on as well. We'll wear it open, because why not? Well, I suppose I'd have to take the umbrella as a uh, as a weapon. <laughs> All mods will be linked in the description. We've got some um, the usuals on here, but then also some a little bit. Oh, pipe wrench. Yes, thank you very much. Also some new ones as well. I kind of go through them as we're, as we're playing. So we do have one where we can wear jackets open, which is quite nice. Uh, I think we get the pipe wrench out, to be honest. And also where we can wear trousers tucked in, which looks really cool, especially with uh, normal trousers on. This zombie's still not through this bloody door yet. All right, this zombie did have a satchel, which is nice. We're going to get that on straight away. So we do have some kind of backpack now. Zombies are coming in through the back here. We will take them scissors and, ba and antidepressants as well. We just clear the initial area out. I will feel a little bit better. All right, well, them doors are locked, so we're gonna we're gonna leave them be for the time being. Let's try and get a little bit of food. Yeah, high calorie food is good because we are, of course, underweight. Ooh, sewing kit. We'll take the needle. Thank you. Let's 
eat some peanut butter, try and get some calories going. Actually, let's eat the mac and cheese. It's always a little bit tense on the first few days, I won't lie. All right, let's go next door. Maybe a how to use generator? No. Matches we will take and a hand torch, thank you. And a screwdriver, actually. Let's put that on our belt, why not? Yeah, it's been a it's been a while since I've been been to Louisville. Um, the last couple of times was when um, I was fairly early on in the YouTube uh, project onward YouTube uh, career, if you like, um, and they didn't end too well. But hopefully this time we uh, will have better luck. Hopefully, but as always with Project onward, you never really know. All right, so still nothing really of uh, any use. We could do some more short blunt, maybe. Maybe we go short blunt. I don't know. We'll see where, see how it plays out. Let's try and finish this house on the end here. Maybe get a duffel bag or something. Maybe a how to use generators. No, we're, we're not that lucky. I mean, we will take the saucepan as a, as a weapon if, if need be. <laughs> All right, well, there's nothing really in here, to be fair. So let's start. Maybe we look at these green buildings to our east. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, let's have a little peek. Also check this van as well. Oh, we got a metal pipe. That is nice. Let's pop that on our back. Very nice. We got any smokes in here? Does have fuel. Oh, and a key. Fuel and a key. Okay, so that is an option. I mean, do we wear the cowboy hat? Let's put it on. Let's put it on. Oh, yes. Look at this. I love it. I love it. All right, let's, let's survey the area a little bit. Just see what we're dealing with. Try and get these zombies that are fairly close to us dealt with. Oh, wow, that's boarded up. I've never seen a shop boarded up. Is that a thing? Is that a survivor shop or a survivor house? I, I don't know. All right, let's let's go home. It's it's half past four. So, this yeah, let's let's head home for the night. Just secure the house a little bit more. Oh, we got some, uh, we got some visitors. Okay, so it looks like this area is fairly clear i would say there's still zombies banging around in houses somewhere but all right we're home and safe let's just dump this stuff off for the time being okay that's done so what my plan was potentially is to head over drive down and head over to these houses as they are quite uh you know out the way nice and big but ah, we are really out the way we may look at doing that later on and if things go south up here, but for the time being, I think, you know, I think we do stay here. We're going to go have a look at these shops, I think, tomorrow. And we also need some smokes. All right, so it's 20 past 11, the end of day one. We've done, we've done okay. It was a bit touch and go by not having a weapon. Let's get some lovely high calorie food in us and then hopefully we might gain a bit of weight overnight. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to look at them shops. I also need more sheets for the windows upstairs because... We don't want that helicopter seeing us. No way. Uh, but we will uh, see you in the morning. All right, day two. <laughs> wow. I'm feeling nervous about this one. We are in the heart of it, aren't we? We bloody are. But um, yeah, the 100 days, we're just going to try and explore Louisville. We're just, well, basically just going to try and survive. We haven't got no crazy end goals or anything like that. We're just going to try and survive, see the sights, see how we get on. We could go up to this industrial area. That might be the better shout, actually. Let's go and see what shops we've got here, actually, first, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. I do need two sheets, and I'm gonna get them before before I forget. All right, we've got our sheets. Let's go drop them back at home because we are. Let's close these doors as well because that is going to be a line of defence for us. And old Peter Gibbons, and let me know if you uh, know the Peter Gibbons reference. Um, he is an office worker. And that's a very big clue. Let me know. Let me know. But all right, let's uh, we drop them off. Uh, I mean, we don't really need the plunger anymore, do we? Or the saucepan. We'll keep them here to hand just in case. All right, let's go and have a look what shops we're dealing with down here. Maybe in a like an off license to get some cigarettes, maybe or a hardware store would be amazing. I can't actually remember what. What's down here? I played a little bit of LV, um, not loads, a lot in multiplayer a while ago, but as I said, that was a while ago, so it's all, uh, we're going to be a little bit fresh for me. Oh, and of course, Major OP, which, uh, rip in peace. I still have the save. I may bring him back for a special, but the last episode, uh, if you've seen the community post, we it didn't record too well, so we had to end it. But he is alive, and he has, he did get to his end goal. Oh, look at all of these down here. All right, let's get to it. So it looks like we do have like a Zippy Mart here. We can hopefully get some cigarettes. Fairly clear on this high street, which is nice. Oh, jeez. Is that the police station there? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, he has cigarettes. Yeah, we'll have a smoke. Happy days. I do like these simple moodlets. 
I believe it's plain moodlets, sorry, the mods call. I do like them. They look a lot nicer than the vanilla ones. We're actually using that instead of the status bar as well, just to change things up a little bit. I will take, drink this orange soda and use the bottle. That will be nice. So the main thing we're actually wanting in here is, of course, cigarettes. Yes, 40 of them. We'll take it. 60 of them. We'll take it. 20 of them. We'll take it. Another 40. And a lighter, yes. Do have a bookstore up there as well. Let's go get some books for to tide us over until the helicopter goes. Thing is, even with LV with the respawn off, there's so many bloody zombies. I can't remember how many, but there's definitely a hell of a lot. Oh, we may have uh, bitten off more than we can chew here. Well, let's take some baities. Yeah, we've got a, a few too many here, I think. Oh, Jesus, yeah, we gotta... Let's get out of here. Let's go back to the... The base. If any stragglers come, we can deal with them. Retreat! Retreat! Alright, they're starting to come, which is fine. If they stay single file like this, we'll be fine. I like the look of Peter. He's, uh, I like the cowboy hat. I like the open jacket, the tie. He looks really good, I think. Alright, what are we on already? 64 kills. Bloody hell. Ooh, we'll check the back of these trucks as well. These could have some metal pipes or a hammer, something like that. Also the boot of this. You never know, you never know. Wrench we'll take. Um, we'll take the gas can, why not? Duct tape, yeah, we'll take. Oh no, we set the car alarm off. We gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh dear, look at this, look at this. This is not good, this is not good. Oh dear, oh dear. That's not good, that's not good. Oh, but we do have a nomad. That is good. We will take your backpack, sir. You don't really have anything else of use on you, though. Oh, we got a leveling short blunt at least. That's uh, that's something. My God, let's sort our inventory out now. Oh, we still have our cheese sandwich as well. Let's eat that. All right. Well, it looks like we've taken care of a lot of them. See if we can get this lady out of here. <sighs> okay. Well, yeah, wow. Let's go and have a little look, shall we? This could be could be a bad idea, but I feel we need to assess the situation. That level in short blunt though is really, really Oh, okay, okay, okay. I feel we should definitely rest before we go back down there. Alright, we're nice and rested. Let's go and have a little uh, a little look. Let's favourite this lighter and the matches. This is fine. You can come one or two at a time. That's fine. I can handle that. So if there's any more, you bastards. That's the problem. Mm, there's a few there. We can, we can kite and take... Oh, let's deal with these up here. Oh, a maintenance up. Nice. That's because we took handy. So that's gaining a 75% a, a boost plus fast learn and all that kind of jazz. So that is very nice. Uh, we should probably go and deal with these as well. So the settings are apocalypse. The only difference is, of course, we have the map as usual, mini map and all known. Corpse despawn I've set to 80 hours just to save on the lag because I feel there's, uh, again, as always, because I think there's going to be a lot of corpses uh in this one as there is already extremely rare loot settings and i think that's about it for the changes if anything else comes to mind i'll be sure to let you know okay let's cut a few of them over not too many though mm, they're wandering a bit i don't like that Whew, okay okay oh there's more there's more oh there's a few more let's let's move out a little bit so with the office worker profession, it's um, the only thing you get extra, I believe, is organized. That is a trait that has to come with it, which is pretty good. So it means we've got extra space in our inventory and stuff like that, which is which is always nice. All right, let's go and uh, clear out some more zombies, I think. Yeah, maybe the car alarm has helped us because it's actually brought all the zombies around to us. So, I mean, you know, you've got to look at the positives. Oh, I 
think uh, I think that's enough excitement for one day. All right, so it is 10 to 5. We're not going to leave the base, I don't think, for the rest of the day. Let's sort our windows out while we can. Well, while I remember, actually. All right, the windows are secured, which is nice. All right, it is half past 11. We're going to go to bed. Tomorrow, I think we're going to abandon the high street and actually go for the industrial area just so we can get some weapons. But, uh, yeah, an eventful couple of days, but uh, I'm sure it'll be the same tomorrow. We'll see you then. All right, day three, we've survived the night. A slight change of plan. We're not going to get weapons today. We're going to the bookstore because I want to stock up for when the helicopter does come. We may as well be getting a old experience game because we, <laughs> we have carpentry at the minute. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go on a back way, though, I think, today. Oh, 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 okay. Over the fence, over the fence. <laughs> um, yeah, not such the, the greatest of ideas. Let's wait for them to come around and deal with them as they come. Okay, here they come. We can always hop back over the fence if needs be. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, let's go up this way, I think. Away from where the alarm went off. The wrench has taken a beating, but she's holding strong. She's holding strong for us. Oh, I hear zombies. Let's run, let's run, let's run, let's do it. Okay, we're all right this side. There's a fair few up there, but that's fine. Oh, we got a few over here. Let's kite them. Let's kite. Slow going the first few days on this one, but we are in Louisville, to be fair. And it is, uh, it is busy. It is busy. <sighs> okay. Wow. Well, it looks like they all came over in the end anyway. It is uh, increasing our short blunt skill, which, which is good. Oh, okay, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. All right, looks like we got them all. Let's get in here. Oh, we got a how to use generator. Amazing, we'll take all of that. That is perfect. <laughs> all right, so we got a good old haul from the bookstore. Don't really want to push our luck today, so we'll go back and then clear out some Zeds around, uh, around our area, I think. Like all of these. Maybe we might get a little bit lucky and find a, a metal bar in here in one of these bins, maybe? Uh, no. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we're at 75 weight, so that should go. We should lose underweight on the next tick uh, when we get a 76, so that's good. Let's have a look outside. Hmm, a lot of dead zombies. The day is still fairly early, so I can hear banging. Let's just go and scope it out a little bit. Oh, wow, okay, we got a few down here. <laughs> All right, the pipe wrench has taken an absolute beating, so we're just going to go to the uh, to the wrench for the time being. We need weapons. Oh god, okay. Oh, okay. The wrench is not the best, but it's all we've got. All right, it's twenty to twelve. We're going to get a bed tomorrow. We're going to try and push up to the industrial area. Um, so we'll see you then. All right, day four. We're uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. It's been a, it has been a rough start. I won't lie, but we knew it was going to be an LV. Let's get some food in. Let's how's our weight? Have we lost any weight yet? Nice, nice, nice. We got three bags of chips on us. That should uh, well, it's not going to do a lot, is it? Let's let's take the cereal as well. Uh, let's eat it and open it. There we go. But what our plan today is, we are going up here. Could be busy. I don't know. It's not too far. Just that road, there may be a hell of a lot of zombies, but actually, I don't know if it's wiser to go to that place. That one might be better. Yeah, let's try and do that, I think. This poor bass has been trying to break that door down for days. See you later, sucker. Oh, do we take the riding helmet? It could potentially save our lives, so I think we're going to. As much as I love the cowboy hat. At least until we get a bit more, uh, a bit more secured. Oh, God. Look at this. Look at this. Let's go slowly, slowly. Let's kite some over here. Yep. And it looks like we've got an auto repair store, which is pretty good. We might be able to get some some pipes in there. Yeah, I feel uh, short blunt may be the way to go on this. We're going to be killing so many zombies and tearing through the uh, durability, and they're so common. And a few levels with our high strength, you know, we'll be smashing one-shot kills, hopefully quite easily. It's what we're on now. We're on, oh, we're nearly at level two. 
All right, looks like we've got a lot of them. There's going to be, yeah, there's a few behind. That's fine. But we got two industrial buildings, which could be good. There's also this construction. <gasps> Metal pipes down there. Let's get them. Let's get them. But we got these zombies here. Let's see if we can... Oh, let's deal with this guy first. Oh, there's a lot here. We're going to need beta blockers. God damn it, where the hell do all these dance magazines keep coming from? It's the same with uh, St. Paolo's with this mod. They just give them to you. <sighs> okay, that's them dealt with. Alright, we got a pipe. We got a pipe. This is good. This is good. All right, so we managed to get four pipes, which is really good. We are still going to try and push over here, I think, a little bit, though. Oh, we got a petrol station here as well. This is a good location. Busy, but we got a lot of good stuff around us. Oh, this policeman's got a baton as well. We will take that for short blunt. Nice, nice, nice. Things are looking up. Oh, what happened in here? Dust mask. I think that might... That might help us with the uh, the corpse sickness, possibly. And for yeah, we need one. Jerry can they hold a lot of uh, a lot of gas, so we'll take that. A few wrenches, nothing too amazing, but it will all help. All right, should we clear? Should we clear this fuel station out a little bit? I think. And of course, because it's a hundred days, we have set the peak population back to the normal twenty-eight days on this play as well. Handcrafted wallet. What the hell use is that? All right, nearly at level two, short blunt. That's good. We've got weapons. Let's head home just because I want to make sure it's as clear as possible at our base area. Let's actually go and put this guy out of his bloody misery. Oh, it's a lady now. Okay. Well, I don't think we're going to run out of um, zombies or clothes to turn into Fred to get our tailor in up, are we? <laughs> Okay, let's try and kite some of these. Just a couple, not too many now. Oh, God. There's one's coming from over there. Ah, short blunder, though. Thank you very much. I can already tell the bloody difference. Let's not get too cocky, though. This old Peter before the apocalypse had a dead end office job, you know, he wasn't even middle management, he was nothing, he was, you know, entry level. The apocalypse happened, and maybe this is where he's going to shine, who knows? Maybe killing zombies is going to be his calling. Oh, empty camping canteen, yes please, we will take that. And that's two of them, oh, amazing. <laughs> Oh, okay. We're looking, we're looking good. We got a nice laundrette down here as well to um, work on our metalworking skill. When we find a blowtorch and a mask, of course. Okay, back on the high street. We got some zombies. We should be able to. Oh, okay. Let's go back up this way. Oh, wow. I didn't see them there. Okay, let's go. Oh no, the metal pipe is gone. Right, on to the next. Alright, we are getting a little bit exerted, so let's head back, I think, today. Let's not push it. Well, day four, and we've already killed um, 298 zombies. Wow. You know what, actually? Let's take the Nomad boots. Ah, oh, maintenance up. Nice. Actually, let's take the Nomad boots off because they don't look the best. <laughs> I do like the Desert Combat boots anyway, though. All right, we picked up a few leather jackets so we can rip up for leather when we do do bag modifications and also wash them up while we still have water. All right, it's 20 past 11. We're going to have some... Uh, where the hell even is all our food? I don't think we have a lot, to be honest. Do we have enough to last us the, uh, the big hibernation for the helicopter? I think we should do, but we're going to, uh, we're going to eat that. We're going to have a smoke. We're going to get a bed. And then tomorrow, the hibernation does start. We'll read all of them books, get that all done. So yeah, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day five. Whew, helicopter could come. Right, we're going to go around the house, make sure the windows are closed. Well, all the curtains anyway. 
and all the doors just in case. Yep, that's got one. 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 The door's got one. This door out here. Yep, that's got one. Okay, let the reading commence. All right, we've just finished carpentry one. We went for that one first. Then we're probably going to do... Let's do electronics, actually, I think. All right, it's 12 o'clock. We didn't quite finish electronics, but that's fine. What food have we got in the house? I don't think we actually have a lot of food. Didn't really plan this one out, did we? We're going to have to ration it. Oh, God, we got... We got three. Oh, we got some kidney beans and stuff. That's fine. That should do it. So let's have, um, let's just have some chips actually to start with. We are going to have to ration though. As long as we don't start starving, we should be fine. But we're going to go to bed and we'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day six. Back to hitting the books, I think. Let's just crack right on. All right, it's 10 to 12. Our moodlets are not looking too good. We've read quite a few books and some magazines. We've read Electricity One, um, these magazines, How Do You Generator, Lanes, Tailoring one we've done as well, Herbalist. So looking good, looking good. Now I can hear zombies outside, which is why I'm going fairly slow. How's our weight looking? So we've leveled off at 78. So I think if we eat some peanut butter, let's eat half of this and then we'll head to bed, I think. Okay, day seven, day seven, back to the books because knowledge is power. Oh, so we are starting to starve, so we better eat some food. See all of that, that's fine. We have finished metal working and we're probably, well, just started mechanics. Let's get rid of metal working. All right, it's 10 past 12. We didn't quite finish mechanics, but we're nearly there. So tomorrow we'll uh, we'll round that off and then we'll deal with the, uh, you know, the stuff we're probably not going to use, like your fishing, forage. You may use foraging, I don't know yet, but we'll see. And, uh, well, we'll see in the morning. All right, day eight. We're looking good, we're looking good. Just carrying on. Back to hitting them books. We are uh, extremely bored, so we're probably going to get depression, but we got antidepressants anyway. We better have a smoke as well while we're at it. All right, that's mechanics done. Let's have a look what else we got over here, though. Um, mm, yeah, it's going to have to be, I don't know, maybe foraging. Yeah, let's do foraging. That's probably the next useful one in there. Oh, and we are starving again. Um, okay, let's see. So let's see one fourth of these kidney beans. Again, it's high on calories. We do be putting some weight on a little bit, um, but it is going to make us sad. But I mean, we're, we're going to be sad anyway. All right, so it's 20 past 12. We are starving. And I've just realized we are out of shape. So I don't know if that's with Office Worker. Because I don't... I, I mean, look at that. Full stammer. This is going to be... Uh, I mean, we've been all right so far, to be honest, though, which is surprising. But... uh. Yeah, that's that's not good. I I would argue fitness is a you know the most needed stat over um, strength, but well, it is what it is, I suppose. Yeah, not not good. <laughs> but oh well, maybe we look at at least getting it to level five. We probably could have been doing some exercise while we've been waiting for the helicopter. But oh well, what books did we read today? We uh, we started fishing and we finished foraging. So off to bed, and we'll see you in the morning. All right, day nine, back at them books. I mean, I've been thinking about it overnight. Uh, and out of shape, you know, it kind of makes sense for an office worker. Adds to the role play. I mean, you just sat at a desk. And as I said, old Peter, he was, you know, he lost all his motivation. He, he didn't know what to do with himself, really. So it kind of makes sense. We'll, we'll go with it. We'll go, well, we can't change it now. Well, we finished fishing. The only one left is... First aid, that's actually going to give us a bonus, so let's uh, crack on. Oh, and we are starving again. Let's eat some of this. Okay, and that's made us feel a little bit sad, but that's fine, that's fine. We got the antidepressant. All right, first aid has been read. The only problem is still no helicopter at the end of day nine. That's that's worrying. That is worrying. Let's eat some more kidney beans. All right, 10 past 12. Time to get out of bed. We got no more skill books to read. That's fine. We may do a little bit of exercise, but... uh. Yeah, we're going to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning for day 10. All right, day 10. Still no bloody helicopter. Hmm, okay. This is, uh, I suppose... Oh, trapping. Yeah, let's read trapping. <laughs> we may do a bit of trapping, catch some rats. I don't know. Okay, so we got the helicopter at 20 past 2 on day 10. So this is, uh, this is nervy. I have got the mod... Uh, we can move while we're reading books. I hear zombies banging somewhere. This is this is very um, worrying, to be fair. I'm gonna. Fa I feel he's here. He's got to be here, hasn't he? Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna hide upstairs. 
in my uh, in my bedroom. So I was fast forwarding. Something has smashed downstairs. I don't know what. The helicopter is doing flyovers, so it hasn't spotted us, even though the wind has smashed. I don't know if that's a thing. It's ten past five. It's still going on up up there. It is doing flyovers still, so I think we're fine. So it sounds like it has actually gone away. Good. We're gonna fast forward a little bit more. Yeah, it's eight o'clock. It has definitely gone. We're right. Let's pop some anti uh, antidepressants. Okay, we look fairly clear out here. Nice. That is nice. It's, the bodies are despawned, which again is extremely nice. You can hear something banging. Let's. Uh, didn't look like there was a zombie at our window though, which is good. Let's take some more antidepressants. Let's go and have a little look around. This guy's still banging on this door. Sorry, buddy. Oh, we got some zombies here. Let's let's deal with them. Okay, I think to round off this day, let's go get ourselves some food if we can. All right, so it's 10 past 10. We are getting tired. We have looted our neighbors across the road there. We got a few bits, nothing amazing, but enough to do us for the time being. We're still very, very depressed. Um, so we're going to need to take more antidepressants. Are we only nice food that'll uh, make us happy? Maybe some canned features. Actually, let's not waste it. How are we looking behind here? Okay, I suppose. Let's deal with that zombie over there. It also gets us out to take away our uh, boredom. All right, so it's 20 to 12, day 10. We've made it to uh, the first 10 days. It was touch and go for a while there. It's been a tough one, but I feel we're, we're in a good place now. Next 10 days, I think we're going to be working on our skills, go over to the industrial area, get some better weaponry and things like that. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!